Hey everybody, how are you doing today? We have the Canon M50 and today I'm going to tell you how you're going to use this camera, what is the advantages and the disadvantages in different scenarios. Right, for example, if you're a gamer, if you're a vlogger, if you're just a person who would like to do some montage, you know, you want to use this camera for different purposes. Uh, in this video, I'm going to tell you what is these purposes. So I've been using this camera for around maybe one year and a half or one year and actually yeah one, almost one year and a half uh, I tested it in many ways uh, vlogging uh, streaming uh, doing some random videos editing videos shooting uh, videos professional videos and let's start with the build quality before I just go there so the camera so far is really really built great you know i mean it's very very tough here as you can see it's very very tough and very grippy the camera there is no cracks there is no issues the camera is very very well built excellent built by uh canon the size the size is really great here i'm talking about the size so in 2020 you're looking for a camera that is actually very very portable this is a camera very very portable uh, now let's talk about what you guys are here for usability so far if you are actually a person who like to you know travel vlog take pictures uh, videos and you don't have something lightweight this is the perfect camera for you when it comes to the quality of the picture quality of the video etc if you actually want to use this to shoot like for example youtube videos and stuff like that again this camera is really really as perfect as as you can get it's really great the camera the quality of the picture is really great the video is great now okay so uh, I'm, I'm shooting this video with the mate 20x so just so you know <laughs> uh, so yeah everything here is really really perfect you can plug it here with the adapter there's a battery but you can also click this thing over here and you know the plug will show up that you can also connect your uh, cable and charge it without a battery the battery has to be there but you can charge it there as well uh, you can actually change lenses with this camera so just a simple click over here and the lens will go out very simple right I'm gonna put this over here and I have here you can add this thing over here which is called uh, Viltrox so Viltrox is a mount for uh, full frame cameras that you can have. There are many, uh, you know, variety of full frame uh, cameras with Canon. So what I got here is, is a budget, but actually really great uh, 50 millimeter lens here. And it's easy accessible here. You just, you know, plug it straight away. No issues at all. That's it. It's plugged right now. And for this, like something you shoot with the macro, not macro, actually very, very close distance. So this is really great when it comes to the be having uh, in a close distance. And you have this, you know, a little bit of a leg over here, a knee. So you can maybe mount it like this, whatever. You can do many things with this camera. Now, let's talk about what is the disadvantages since I just mentioned all the good things about the camera. Uh, the main thing for me is streaming now if you're streaming or a streamer or a gamer who would like to do streaming this can come uh, as an issue i mean this camera so uh there's many videos on youtube where it's hard to get you know videos through hdmi like from the uh, full hdmi but the problem is the output is not supporting this uh, the, the live stream with the HDMI so you, all you have to do or the best choice for you is to get another camera like for example the Sony it does support the full HDMI out in case of uh, the Canon it does not so what you have to do you have to buy an adapter uh, a USB adapter so that the computer can identify the camera uh, through this adapter the issue is also after, after you get the adapter the software thing so if you want to stream you make sure that the, the screen is clean and there's no issues you cannot do that with this camera you have to install another software to remove these small uh, like for example manual mode on this camera autofocus 
all this stuff is not gonna work with you here autofocus also is not gonna work so there are so much technical issues when it comes to the streaming so if you're a streamer if you're thinking about buying the m50 from canon i'd actually advise you to go for sony you have the sony uh series almost the same price a little bit i think a little bit uh expensive or cheaper i'm not sure it's almost there but i would actually go for sony uh if you want to do all of the above other than that the camera is really great if you're a vlogger and uh yeah that's about it guys uh, if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section because i use this camera for a long time uh, now i'm deciding to maybe probably replace it with a camera that can do streaming and uh, let's just say uh, user friendly when it comes to the streaming services while you can do uh, all other uh, stuff so if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below i'll put down the links and uh, if you have any questions no see you guys later